Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. I think we've hopefully got over most of our technical difficulties. Let me know how it looks and sounds. I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Um, I will say hello to whoever's in chat. Have we got? We've got Graph now and Rainbow Fairy. Lovely to see you. We're going to be playing a little bit of Little Computer People today, uh, which is is very interesting, um, quite unique, and probably quite influential game from 1985. Uh, let me have a look at... I've got a little um, scan of the, the back of the box. We're playing the Apple II version of this game. It came out for lots of uh, different systems um, at the time. Uh, and the back of the Apple II box, I'll read you some of the uh, description of how this uh, game uh, pitches itself to people. It's, it's a bit long-winded, I might skip through some of it, but uh, the, the basic premise is locked in the darkness deep inside of each and every computer are many different little computer people, LCPs. They have lived their lives in secret for years, playing many tricks on computer owners, but never letting themselves be seen or heard until now. Activision has discovered the secret of the LCPs and offers you the chance to discover and get to know your very own LCP. This kit contains a special house on a disc which we guarantee will attract a little computer person from inside your computer. After he and his dog move in, you'll be fascinated watching him live his life in the house you gave him. He'll eat, sleep, play his piano, play records, watch TV, type on his typewriter, work on his computer, do all the things an LCP does in his normal daily life, just like you do. You can communicate with him and he will respond. He will even tell you his name. You can play games with him. He doesn't like to lose. You can give him presents. He really likes that. And he will just love it when you pat him on the head. Oh, Rainbow Fairy. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I was really surprised when I, um, uh, I, I think it was only a couple of weeks ago, I read about this game for the first time. Uh, and yeah, I, it really caught my attention. Um, the first thing I immediately thought was that um, it seemed like a, like a direct forerunner to The Sims. Um, but then I kind of got thinking about um, what it might, yeah, what other things it might connect to, um, which I think we might could... Uh... Oh, I'm glad the stream is looking good as well. Sorry, I didn't see that part of the message. Thank you. Um, we'll see what, see what happens when things get in motion, because that's going to be a bit choppy. But let's you know, let's get going without further ado. So I need to change my disk over to the other side, and then press the key, and we'll get going. So um, the um, so I'm emulating this, and it took a little bit of um, time to find a blank disk image because the game um, saves over itself as it goes. So. Uh, we're going to need to enter the name of the researcher. It's going to be Catsequences. There we go. And then we need to enter the date, which is interesting because um, uh, can the, was this game programmed to handle the the existence of the the game in the twenty first century? Let's find out. So uh, today is the was well, March, isn't it? It's the second. It's uh, 2022. Okay, that's good. Here we go. So we get to see the house. So this is this is kind of the only um, the only area of the game that you you see you see the whole cross section of the house. Um, and the beginning of the game. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is it's interesting. It's described in the manual, which doesn't tell you a lot of information about the game. To be fair. But it does tell you that you just need to wait. You can't enter any commands. You just need to wait for your little computer person um, to turn up. And uh, and yeah, <gasps> I think they might ring the doorbell a few times before they build up the confidence to come in. But it's quite exciting because they um, they look rather like the um, the little character on the screen. Um, Blow the chat window, but their their appearance is randomised as well. Um, so they probably have slightly different outfits, slightly different hair colour, and should have a dog with them, which is exciting.
Here we go. So I think we'll just we'll just hang out and and see what they see what they do. Um, there's a few a few different little um, um, mechanics to the game that are quite interesting. Um, so one of the um, I immediately thought of the Sims when when I started, first started looking into this, um, and the the next thing I thought after after playing with it for a little bit was that it um, it's also quite like virtual pets really. The um, the way the uh, the manual because the manual sort of stays in uh, stays within the fiction uh, that these little computer people live inside the computers, um, uh, but does kind of treat them as as pets or or the property of the the computer user, which is a bit a little bit problematic given that they seem to be um, autonomous and um, and sapient sapient people. But yeah, so they. Um, I find them really cute. <laughs> as as chunky as the um, the Apple II pixels are, and I I picked the Apple II version um, because I think I quite like the graphics uh, of this particular version. There's not not a lot between them. Different color palettes on different systems, um, but I think the Apple II's chunky pixels um, have a give it a really nice graphic quality, and the um, the models for the the people and the dog are really cute. Some lovely animation as well. I do quite like the use of sound in the game as well because, um, the, as limited as the Apple II's internal speaker was, um, it can produce quite a range of sounds and they produce kind of nice. I mean, there's there's a little bit of music we'll probably hear at some point, which is is pretty screechy, but um, the um, sort of diegetic sound effects. Um, just of the the activity of your little computer person are, are really nice. Um, they um, they give you a real sense of um, of life, which um, is kind of surprising for the simplicity that they're built out of. So I think our little computer person has gone to get their stuff and their dog. I don't know. If, can I? Oh, it's okay. You can come in. You don't need to ring the doorbell. You can just come straight in. It's fine. We've been expecting you. Hey, it's the doggy. Okay, can I can I type now? Not yet. Okay. Eventually, I will be able to type commands. Well, more questions really. Um, but you get um, there's some sort of some hotkeys to do certain things within the environment. Um, but then you just get um, a free parser as well to to type in anything you'd like. So you can try to communicate directly with your your little computer person. Okay, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna chill out and watch some TV, which is nice. Okay, I th hopefully now I can type. Yes, here we go. I'm gonna say hello. And I'm gonna ask, what is your name? Ooh, we, I think we got a meaningful look there. What do you reckon? Here we are. Thursday. It's not a Thursday. March the second yet. Oh not. Oh. Okay. Okay. The game thinks it's nineteen twenty-two. Dear, oh, dear, it knows, it knows my name. Thanks, dear consequences. As you can see, 
from the water bottle in the kitchen I've got a good supply of water Oh, nice use for the semicolon. So at least I don't have to worry about that. Living here, you know that I feel pretty happy. I'm glad to hear that. By working at my computer, or rather than my computer, I've become a keyboard freak. <laughs> a good typist. But a bit slow. No, you're fine. Sincerely, Ronald. Interesting. That's really interesting. So uh, before I had to go with this um, this disk image, um, I made a copy and and, and played a, a little trial, and the character did look the same and was also called Ronald, um, which is interesting. So I wonder. Yeah, yeah, Rainbow Frey. Yeah, he makes mistakes and then corrects them. Um, I love that too. It's uh, it's just a little touch, isn't it? But it's really characterful. Um, when I um, had a little previous previous Ronald, um, and he was writing to me, um, uh, there was even a joke about it, about the quality of his typing, um, and he he got like <laughs> like three letters wrong in a row and had to had to correct them. So, so Ronald's gonna just carry on doing stuff, um, and I can enter commands now. So I'm gonna refer to the manual that I've got here um, to let you know some of the stuff that we can do. So we can we can obviously uh, contact Ronald directly. Um, or let me try this because this is this is super cute. So if I um, if now I know Ronald's name, if I say hello, Ronald. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Oh no, what happened? Oh my parser froze. Yeah, this is this is music that Ronald's into. Let me know if that's a bit loud. <laughs> See, that, that's kind of the music we get. So, hello. Oh, sorry, wrong. I got your name wrong. Something went a bit awry there. Let me try again. I'll type slowly and carefully. There we go. Hello, Ronald. So, Ronald nods at us. And says hello. How cute is that? Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the manual. So, caring for physical needs in the manual. So, um, you can press Control F uh, to have food delivered to the door, and you can press Control W to fill the water tank up. Um, and what's really lovely about this game is that there's um, lots of in-world interface. So you can see, hopefully, in the kitchen. There's um there's a water tank there. Uh, if I press Control W, that will make a sound and fill up by degrees. 
and the um, the manual doesn't really tell you uh, how this is signified, but um, I found out from experimentation. On the shelf between the window and the fridge, there are like four canisters or tins. That's that's how much food there is in the house. Um, so I don't need to um, do anything to send food to Ronald yet. Um, if if he cooks and eats, um, which I hope he does, um, we, we'll see that happen, and and we might need to top up the food. So alternatively, I can ring the alarm clock um, with Control A, um, which I think I think the little computer people do sleep. But I haven't seen one do that yet, um, which is is interesting. I don't know if it happens a particular time. Um, mostly they just seem to sort of go around doing doing interesting things, doing daily daily things. So, um, oh, okay, yeah. So the other caring for physical needs is Control D to leave food for the dog at the door, which I think we'll, we'll do that now because the dog is standing by his bowl. So let's let's do that. Lovely. So Ronald's going to take care of that for us. So more, I guess more uh, abstractly, caring for Ronald's emotional needs. There's a there's a nice uh, set of um, four pixelated um, emojis really in in the manual. So there's a smiley face for for when he's happy. There's a, just a line the line face for when he's content and a sad face for when he's sad and he needs mood boosting immediately apparently and then if he feels sick uh, we will know it he will have he will have a um a downturned mouth and his face will be bright green so we'll look out for that it can kind of happen at short notice and um yeah see even if he has, seems to have eaten and had something to drink recently which seem to be the uh, the main uh, things that keep him well physically so yeah so mood boosting activities we can press control C to um, have someone call Ronald up so he can have a, a phone call it says in the manual that many LCPs enjoy receiving phone calls unless they're constantly interrupted to the point of irritation which I think is a fair warning um, yeah, well, the this sort of, it's it's the way it's done is cute, but the description of it is a bit is a bit uh, disturbing. Um, physical contact or petting. In order to pet your LZP, he must be sitting in his easy chair in the living room. Um, so I think we can we can give that a go. So you can you can um, this will show you what what happens, but this will hopefully call him to the chair. So there's a there's a mechanical arm that comes out and um, and pats. Pats the computer person on the head, um, reassuringly. So I think I think we signalled that to Ronald that we um, we want to offer some physical affection, so we do it that way. Which is is quite delightful. I mean, he does I think he looks a bit confused right now. Um, but no, he's he's relaxing into it. That's good. That's nice. Okay, <laughs> um, and the um, yeah, the uh, the doors once the, like the front door once it's open just sort of seems to stay ajar, and they sort of uh, Ronald and the dog seem to wander in and out um, as and when. Uh, the other thing I can do in this version is uh, leave a new record uh, for Ronald uh, at the front door by pressing Control R. Apparently, apparently, if you're playing the uh, the Commodore version. Uh, you can press Control B uh, to leave a book at the door too. I'm not quite sure why that that didn't work in the the Apple version. So that's that's most of the things we can do besides freeform typing. Um, but we can also play games with Ronald, which I thought we might might have a go at. I think he's going to build a fire again. Yeah, that's nice, nice and cozy. Hi, Ronald. He was, he was looking right at me there. Um, so I'd like to know 
what is your dog called? Oh, our dog called. Oh, Mr. Y. Hopefully you'll know what it means. So, I mean, sometimes you think he might be going to type you a message and then he might uh, do something else entirely. Like brush his teeth. Which comes with a very nice sound effect, I must add. See, I th think we might be getting a message. No, no, I think he's going to watch TV. Okay. Um, um, what things do you, oh, look at this, you like to do? Oh, I think my typing skills are far, far behind Ronald's. The, um, oh, that, yeah, was that a meaningful look? No, it wasn't. Or well, maybe Ronald's going to show me what he likes to do. That'd be cool. Can you think of uh, anything that you would like to ask Ronald? Because I'm happy to I'm happy to pass the pass the questions on. Um, Okay, this is going to be a bit abstract, but I'm going to try it. Please show me your party trick. Let's see. Let's see if Ron's got a party trick. Oh, <gasps> he has! I kind of wasn't expecting anything from that. This is this is delightful. Oh, nice! You got some moves, Ronald. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a a multi-direction moonwalk kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit hard <laughs> at this resolution. It's a bit hard to tell which limbs are which. Um, but I, I'm loving it. Thank you. That's that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Um, okay. What else can we? What else can we do? Well, let's. Yeah. Let's not hold. Let's not hold Ronald up. Let's. Let's see what he's thinking of doing. Relaxing a bit more, maybe. Or maybe another fire. Could be. So we yeah another fire. If we would like to play a game with Ronald, he's equipped to play Anagrams, Card War, which uh, I read about. It's not not a card game I'm familiar with, but it might be a might be a common thing. Um, and five card draw poker, which seems a bit. A bit much to be honest. <laughs> I don't I'm not a big poker player myself. Um I don't know I don't know if I fancy uh we you get chips and you can bet and everything. Apparently. So at the um at the end of the um the manual, I think effectively as the warranty card really, um you get an observations page, so it says use the section to record your observations. You will quickly start to notice distinct character traits in your particular LCP. So you can record them moving in, date and time. 
you can uh, chart any unusual activities, um, you can uh, make notes on their appearance, uh, you can write down their name, their appetite, their sleeping habits, overall health, predominant moods. I think Ronald's, Ronald's been pretty content so far. Housekeeping hints, hygiene, moods, moods, predominant moods and moods, musical ability, game playing aptitude, letter writing ability, forms of relaxation. Hmm. Yeah. You can send that off to. You can send, well, you could have sent that off to Activision. Um, it feels like this comes from a, a very different era of, of Activision. Cool. I'm gonna let Ronald just just uh, come with what he's thinking of. Um, let me have a look at my my notes. So, what did I mention? Want to mention about this? Oh yeah. So, um, this this. Uh, the manual credits the game to it says created by Rich Gold, um, designed and produced by Rich Gold, David Crane, and Sam Nelson. Um, David Crane um, was a fairly prolific program and one of the the co-founders of Activision actually back in the day, um, but left it in 1986, so a year after this game came out, um, and uh, created Pitfall, which was like the prototypical uh, platform game uh, and was a programmer on Night Trap of all things which is uh, um, a rather idiosyncratic uh, FMV game from 1992 oh, I love that static effect when um, when he turns the tap on it's, it's fantastic so yeah I kind of don't I don't miss that there isn't like much ambient audio that's why I didn't I didn't put anything below the, the stream for this because I kind of um, thought me me wittering on and um, like the sound of footfalls and things I think that's that kind of enough it creates the the environment of the game which is pretty cool um, yeah so that, that's that's where uh, little computer people comes from um, and apparently it, it was an influence on the sims and um, yeah to, to my mind this is is rings quite close to um, virtual pets that would would come along i think in the, i associate them with the 90s anyway but the um kind of like the social simulation side of things i i think you can see an evolution of of this in things like um harvest moon and stardew valley um and animal crossing i think where you're interacting with um npcs in um in kind of a more involved way I think it's interesting. I wonder if, um, yeah, if you can think of any other things that this seems to be the the forebear of, um, yeah, let me know because I'm I th finding this an, an like an interesting um, entry kind of in game history, um, and not not a very well known one, I don't think. Yay! So Ronald's gonna gonna have a little bit of food there, which is cool. He. Um, the little computer people uh, sometimes leave the the pan on the stove quite a while and go off and do something else. I don't. I'm reluctant to distract him in case of house fires. I am. Um, the um, one of the things about one of the really lovely things about discovering old games like this is that they um, they're often um, quite oblique in um, in describing themselves. They they won't let you know exactly what can happen in each game. So. I, I don't know how much or how little um, interaction we can have with Ronald exactly and I kind of don't know how much this world can change it's interesting that we have to put a date in in um, I think in the Commodore version um, I guess because that system is a little different you can also put the time of day in as well when you when you start a, uh, a session um, so I wonder what that alters uh, so I wonder, it might be worth coming back to um, to this disc um, and Ronald on another occasion as well, like um, after a few weeks have passed, to kind of see if uh, a gap of time makes a difference in the in the game world as well. Uh, because that'd be really interesting. Otherwise, the only thing that seems to change is the um, the the calendar on the wall above the fireplace. You get a different day of the week and a different um, different picture. 
So, is it time to eat, Ronald? Oh yeah, okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to interrupt you while you're while you're eating because that would be rude. So as yeah, as was common for the the time really, this game came out on um, a lot of different systems. I, I can run through the list. Uh, so it was on the Amiga, the Amstrad CPC, the Apple II, as we've got here, uh, Atari ST, Commodore 64. Um, it went to uh, Japan. There was even a version called uh, Apple Town Story, which was essentially a... Ah, oh, look at that eating animation. Sorry, I have to interrupt myself. That's delightful. It's quite frog-like, um, but it's... Oh, it's so good. Oh, oh no! Why, why are you turning green while you're eating? This is not good. Oh, Ronald. Oh no. But you, oh, maybe you need to drink some water. Hang on, let's sort this out. I think you should Drink some water, please. Oh, uh oh. Oh, when I, oh, my please went a bit wrong. Let's hope, let's hope enough of that message got through. Are you gonna? I think Ronald did understand me. Is that? Okay. Well, the manual says the illness is dependent on how well fed and watered you are. And you've had something to drink and something to eat. Are you going to eat some more now? Did I interrupt you? Sorry. Or are you going to drink some more water? Okay. Okay, maybe quite thirsty. Well, let's top that up a little bit. That can't hurt, surely. Okay. The, um, I, yeah, for, for 1985 and for being on fairly limited systems like the Apple II and the Commodore. Um, I think the AI is, is, is pretty impressive on this. Um, there's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of response things. Are you going to brush your teeth? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, after eating. Okay, do you think we should play an after dinner game? I'm keen. Uh, I think I'm most keen to try out Anagram. Um, can we, uh, we play a game, please? Or are you going to write to me? Hang on, why are you nodding? I haven't. Huh? Oh, okay. I hadn't ended it, but he, he knew. What games can we play? One, poker. Two, card war. Three, anagrams. Uh, let, let's try anagrams. Are you knocking on the screen to get my attention? Three. Are you getting Are you getting anagrams? I think so. Okay. Uh, what are the rules of anagrams? Let's, let's look quickly. Okay, so Ronald's going to think of a word, 
then we've got to try and unscramble it. Um, so we type what we think the correct word is, and Ron will tell us if we're right or wrong. We'll get eight or nine guesses. If we need a hint, we can press one. Each time we do so, one letter will assume its correct place in the scrambled words. Ooh, nice. Oh, and zero is quick. That's. I'm thinking of a word. Okay, here it is, all jumbled up. Uh, R S B U E I. See if you can guess what it is. First guess. Ooh, what do we think? Ooh, any any ideas? I'm not sure. I do actually know. Um. I'm going to start typing and see what happens. Uh, so if it was a B. Oh, rubies, rainbow fray, you're on it. Ah. <sighs> Good work. My mind was was not going for anagrams. All right, try again. Ah, oh, okay. So if it's not rubies, what could it be? Hmm. Can we get anything else out of that? And it's like, did I mistype rubies? I might have done. Uh, let me give rubies one more go in case I did mistype that. Well, that's rubies, isn't it? Well, I might try again. Okay, it's definitely something different. It's berries. Is that does that work? Berries, as in very the dog berries the bone in the back guard. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, this is more tricky than I was anticipating. <gasps> ah, luckily we've played games enough that Ronald is feeling healthier. So that's good. It might take a, a while for uh, for food and drink to take effect as well. Um, hmm. hmm. Any other suggestions, anybody? Um, so, uh, what if I start with S? What can we make with S? Um, S E B Saburi. That's that's not a word. Um, that I know of, anyway. You know what? I'm gonna have to go for a hint. I think. Okay. Okay. What what moved? I didn't notice what moved. Um. Busy. Uh, I like the sound of that. Yeah. What? These are these are crafty anagrams. There's, yeah, you can make lots of words out of that. Right, well, I'm gonna go for another clue. Okay, we're nearly out of guesses. Ronald, you are good at this. I'm not. Um, br bruise. Br oh, that's a more disturbing. Well, it could be bruise. Exactly right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We just keep going. Okay, I'll do. I'll. I'll take one more. Um. Okay. I feel like I'm. I've warmed up a little now. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, it's got a Y and a. Cut. Cur curtsy. Could be curtsy, couldn't it? Curtsy. 
Good job. Oh, aced it. Okay, we'll just do a third one. Um, well, that looks a bit like Uncle, doesn't it? But it's not. Um, oh. Does that help me by moving letters around? Um, hmm. I'm not sure about this one. I thought maybe I'd cracked it when we got uh, when we got curtsy, but. It's clearly just just a fluke. Uh, sunlock. Sunlock. There you go. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 what, what next? What to try next? Um, oh, I don't think I can think of a... Can I think of a whole word that comes out of that? So the S, could, I, I'm thinking maybe the S is at the beginning or at the very end. It could be... Ooh, I like that suggestion. Console. That would be... Wow! Great work, Rainbow Fairy. That was... Uh, thank you. I'm going to... I'm going to say... Thanks very much, Ward. That was fun. Are you gonna? Oh, I thought Ronald was gonna put the game box in the uh, in the sink there, but luckily not. I think it's gonna go back in the drawers in in the attic. Oh, amazing console! What a what a win! Yeah. I'm gonna um, oh how can I oh I seem to have lost the ability to type again okay let's give it a second I can't remember if it was in um, this manual, the manual for this version, because I did have a look at the um, the one for the Amiga version of the game as well. They said um, most things are known about the little computer people, apart from uh, what they do uh, behind that door in the attic, which um, is interesting. Interesting to think about. Oh yeah, I guess perhaps um, it took a while to tidy up stuff in there. That's probably it. Can I type again yet? Ah! Ronald! I can't do any punctuation. Ronaldo. Ronald, how are you feeling? Because you were a bit poorly earlier. You okay? I mean, I think he. Oh. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get a reply. That's fine. Hmm. Oh no! You're you're feeling green again. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Okay, we can ask. So, the two suggestions for trying, trying keyboard communication, are that um, ask politely for things. So, please type a letter to me. So let's ask. Let's ask Ronald for a, for a letter. Maybe he'll tell me, 
Um, what's making him feel green around the gills? Thanks. Okay, date line, Thursday, March 2, 1922. <laughs> Dear friend, oh, we've moved back from consequences, have we? I hope you won't feel slighted. Oh, there are only so many hours in a day oh uh, yeah I'm not worried that you weren't writing to me I just um, I just wondered if you're well when I get a chance I want to try to teach the dog A few tricks. That's a great idea. Can you do that? I'll give it some more thought and let you know. Awesome. Please do. Sincerely. Ronald. All right, can I type? Can I type? Okay, we're gonna get the. Okay, okay. Let me get that lovely music again. No, I don't know if we'll get the answer to that one. Mm, let's drop a bit more food in via, I don't know, via drone maybe? If not, it's the fast, fastest person delivery service. So I think that should stock the cupboard back up. Cool. Some water, yeah, I think having some water is a good idea. I hope, hope this is a pleasant stream. I, I just really enjoyed just watching what's what's happening half the time and, and losing myself. Um, it's, yeah, I guess very much like The Sims, it's interesting watching the interactions go on. Kind of interesting in in little computer people that you don't really change the environment. Oh, play with the dog, that's a great idea. Ah, uh, okay, you needed some food and drink, didn't you? Okay, Ronald, can you play with the dog, please? 
I hope so. I really hope so. No? Okay, maybe if I phrase it slightly differently. Please play with play with your dog. Okay, I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, well how about I wonder if we can work the trick angle. So please teach the dog dog typing. That was the I don't know if I've I heard the I've heard the um, tooth brushing sound, but I, d I don't know if I'd never noticed the spitting <laughs> spitting water out sound before. That's brilliant. Please teach the dog a trick. Oh, oh, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I've ever seen a little computer person use the use the facilities before. Very discreet. Um, please teach the dog a trick. What do we think? No dice, I think. Um, maybe as time goes by, um, he'll have an idea of something he wants to teach the dog that'd be cool so yeah so the day is ticking by i don't know when ronald would need to sleep maybe i'll ask him are you feeling tired no i don't think so Oh, you are. Oh, okay. Are you going to go to bed? I don't know what happens. So if he does go to bed, he's not going to the bedroom. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens game-wise if he goes to sleep. I'm just going to watch some more TV. Okay, well I'm not sure what the... Uh... Maybe you're saying, no, I'm not tired. Maybe that was it. Oh, okay, that... Maybe you just wanted to check the headlines or something. What? <laughs> What was all that about? Oh, the secret door again. Okay. Um, well, I wonder... Um, can I tape? Yes. Um, can you... Can you show me your definitely not tired? Can you show me your computer, please, Ronald? Ah, oh, great, okay. What can you do with it? But this is getting a bit meta, isn't it? A computer within a computer. I guess I was intentionally being a bit a bit meta streaming little computer people um, as it's layers of layers of interaction within Oh 
Oh, he calls his dance the computer. Interesting. Either that or the... Uh, <laughs> um, the parser didn't quite pick up the... It picked up the show me part rather than the computer part. I like to think he calls his dance the computer. It's very nice, thank you. I think you should probably um, put a record on first. So you've got, you know, you've got some beats to grief to. I think that's the way you should do it. Yeah, yeah. It's very good, very long. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask another question about the dog. Um, how old is the dog? Oh, now you're on your computer. Oh, that was... That was... <laughs> That was really brief. <laughs> okay, we're not getting any answers about the dog. Um, please walk the dog. You've been, you've both been inside for quite a while. I mean, I think the dog has been in and out to go to the the toilet, probably. Oh, look, they're sitting next to each other. That's really sweet. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's gonna walk the dog. And they both look both look like they're chilling. <laughs> oh how nice. Let's um let's fill some fill some water up. Okay. Now Okay. Some more. I mean, you've eaten twice in this period, so I think the dog deserves some more food. So to interrupt you, go upstairs. <gasps> awesome. So the do I think the dog knows that means food. And heads heads to the bowl. Well, it might be a coincidence. I like to think it was on purpose. Okie dokie, when he's done that. Let's see. Let's see what else we can we can think of. Oh, oh, hello! You you jumped a little in the air there. Okay. Yeah, you're keeping the leftovers in the fridge. Good idea. Okay. Well, everybody should be reasonably well fed now. Um. Um, please can you play on the piano? Yeah, great. Type. Oh, I want to type. Can't type right now. That was very nice, Ronald. Thank you. It was very frenetic. 
That's a very difficult type. Okay. Oh, now I can type. Okay, this is what I want to type. Bravo! What are you watching? What are you watching? Uh, what do you like to watch on TV? Oh. Oh, do you think I asked you to watch TV? I did mention TV. The, um... Okay. Fair enough. Well, I I think you've probably been up for quite a while, judging by the the time on the clock. So let's have a look. Are you? You going in the secret cupboard again? Okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I need to actually give you a prompt to go to bed. When I can type again. Here we go. Please go to bed. I don't know if that works. I don't know if that's a, a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Please go to sleep. I don't think any of those are working. Interesting. Oh no, you're looking peaky again. It's a it's a slightly anxious life looking after a little computer person. Okay, well you've got food and drink available, so. Hopefully if you need that, you can grab some. Oh no, you need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, you do, okay. Fair enough. Well yeah, it doesn't sound good. Oh, I was kind of hoping he'd come back uh, uh, cured, but that wasn't the case. Okay. Are you... Okay. Uh, do... Do you need... to sleep? Maybe the assumption is that the computer person sleeps while you're not logged on. That could be it. Oh, are you just going to sit there feeling poorly? Um, please, please crink some water. Please drink some water. It's good for you. We should all stay hydrated.
Yeah? Okay. It was just a knowing look there. I'm, I'm going to take a moment to drink some water too. Good. I did need that. I was I was feeling a bit green. Okay. Well, hopefully this will help. Hmm. I'm gonna ask. What's your fave for oh okay that just that just took that without me hitting return. What's your favour? I don't know if is that gonna get a response maybe. I was trying to say what's your favourite meal? Type again. No, I can't. Okay. Are you? Oh, okay. I think we're getting a, a message based on the question what's your favour? Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's today. It's today. Dear friend, living here, I almost always have plenty to drink. <laughs> At least I'm not thirsty. Now, oh well, that's good. Uh, as long as you rumple my hair every once in a while, you know that I enjoy myself okay my dog loves this house oh that's good so so much it's house broken thank heavens <laughs> Your friend. Okay. Well, that's a bit less formal, Ronald. Thank you. Can I type thank you? Come on. That was a lovely letter. Right, well I think, um, oh hang on, are you going to get something to eat? I was going to give you a good petting, uh, but if that's, uh, that's going to interrupt you drinking or, or eating, I'll, I'll wait a minute. Oh, oh no, that's that's not a happy mouth, is it? That's not a happy mouth. Oh, Ronald. Oh, 
Oh dear. I topped up your water. Um. Oh yeah, has something to eat. That'll help. Okay. All right. I'll let you eat, and then I'll give you a good petting. As um as simplistic as as the game. Oh dear, that looks like a very sad frown. Um, have a have a pet. Here we go. Come over here. Um, as simplistic as the the game seems today, I think in 1985, on your um on your home computer, this would this would have been a pretty exciting entertainment. I think, um, pretty novel at the time. And to be honest, I'm I'm having a good time right now. Um, many years later, in 1922. There's um, there's, I think it's very cute and and quite quite lovely in many ways. There's a, a small a small shadow of sadness that is kind of the both of them the, the person and the dog are kind of confined to the house area. Um, I guess they can they've got a mist yeah they both got a mysterious door they can pop out of and pop back in, so um, they can be off having adventures when they're out there I suppose. Um, but the, the what got what got me a minute ago was the almost always happy. Um, that's that's a very sad phrase. Oh, what can we do? Would you like a new record? Let's give you a new record. I mean, hopefully it's um a bit more melodic than than the one you've already got. I don't I don't know. Ooh, here we go. Looks a bit like it might be a first aid kit, but I think that's a record. I think that's um a cut out in a record sleeve. Okay, let's let's enjoy this. Oh, did you just put it away? You're not gonna listen to it. Would you like to listen to your new record? Duh. Oh, so morose that face. I think you're probably very tired. I think I think you've probably been up for for at least forty eight hours consecutive. You should definitely get some rest. Oh, oh here we go. You're a bit sad, but you're not ill, that's good. I don't know, I think this is Ronald's favourite, isn't it? Okay, we're getting a new a new letter. Interesting. Oh, this is very formal, dear madam or sir. 
I hope you're as concerned as I am because I haven't eaten in quite a while and you haven't checked my supplies lately. Don't feel very good. I think I'm d desperate for something to drink, but I'm almost out of you're not out of water, Arnold. Look at that's at least half full. It gets lonely when you're not around. Oh, we've been here very often. By working at my computer. I've become a very <laughs> that, was, that was the gag. <laughs> very accurate typist. Uh, uh, although I guess I'm a bit slow. Oh, okay, we're still our friend, that's good. Oh dear. Okay, uh, can I type? I'd like to type, please. Well, let's, come on, let's... Can I type? Type now? I have a response. I'm sorry, Ronald. Um, let's get you some food. Well, that frown doesn't look quite so frowny now. Maybe the apology helped. It would be really um, interesting to know what sort of things register here and what um, what variables change behind behind the scenes. Um, there's obviously uh, in a ah, okay your mood is improving. I think you've just got a straight line face. Oh no! Oh no! That's the frown again. Well, you, so you've got. There's obviously there's there's quite a lot of projection that's going on here, um, especially well certainly for me. Um, please please water yourself. Um, that is not what I intended to say, but let's try it. Oh, you've gone. <gasps> What's this sound? Oh, I don't like this. This is very sinister. I mean, maybe the game's crashed. That is also possible. Um, I might go lower the volume on that because that's, that's quite that's quite a uh, quite intense sound. What the heck was that, Ronald? Oh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That could be it, Rainbow Frey. Could be driving, driving a car somewhere. I didn't know he had a car.
Chair, where's he off to? I mean, uh, I've got, I've got that that deep rumbling sound in my headphones. There's something quite, uh, quite soothing about it, oddly enough. Okay, are you okay, Ronald? Where have you been? Where did you go? <laughs> that was very interesting. I hadn't seen that before. That's And now the door's closed as well. Interesting. You know, if this thing has like a an evolving plot line of some kind, that would be that would be amazing. Okay, I have a little rummage in the car in the cupboard. Okay, okay, we're not typing. Um uh do do you have a car? Okay, I don't think we're going to get a response to that. Um, let's, when he's out the bathroom, let's give him a call. Let's get... Well, you know what, first... Um, you haven't washed for a while. Please take a bath. No? Oh! Did I already press call? I might have done. If not, he's initiating his own call. Oh, well that's cool. Are you now going to take a bath? Maybe. I could just well ahead and press call. Maybe he's making his own calls. I hope so. Okay, what's going to happen on this computer? I'm intrigued. Okay, interesting. Please. Please take a shower. It could be please wash, couldn't it? The one that work. Or are you going out driving again? I think, yeah, well I think Ronald started a, a new life away from the house. I'm interested in this change in behaviour, he's, he's spending a lot of time outside the house, um, making phone calls to people I don't know, um, talking to goodness knows who on the uh, on the bulletin boards. What what's going on, Ronald? Okay, but uh I don't think I initiated the call, so I'm gonna initiate the call now for you. Okay, I feel like we need to. I feel like we need to bond. Um, we need to spend some some quality family time together. So, uh, can we play a game? I think this might be a good way to. Um... Oh, hello. No, I'm... I was in. It was in my game. What are you doing in the cupboard? Are you gonna go to bed? No? 
No. Okay. I was going to see. Oh no, you're feeling poorly again. Oh. I'd say. Ronald is a little sickly. Are you going to type to me? Okay, let's see what this let's see what this says, and then we'll react accordingly. No, we're not driving off the terminal. The game volume up a bit. There we go. Oh, he's uh he's not typing to me, is he? This is this is interesting. Can I type? I can. Okay. Um, please. Okay, so it's just just working, just working on that. I wonder why he's typing up. Well, I might as well ask, won't I? Um, what are you writing, please? We used to be so close, Ronald. He used to tell me everything. Okay. Uh. Oh! What games can we play? Oh, I did want to play a game. Interesting. I wonder if the preloaded. It did register when I asked about a game earlier, but it preloaded lots of different things that you needed to do. Well, I don't think I'm up for poker right now, but let's try Card War. Let's see what that's about. Hello. Hello. I choose Card War, please. So, I think it's... We get dealt half a deck each. <gasps> yep. Oh, no, living on someone else's computer, Rainbow Fairy. Oh, that could be it, couldn't it? Oh, dear. Ronald. Okay, it all hinges on this, this game of card war. So I think, I think it's a uh, highest card wins kind of kind of thing so that looks like the ten of hearts cute very cute card graphics okay so i don't think i think this is a random chance kind of game let's see what we've got we've got the seven of was that a was that a spade okay um i think on the left is the number of cards we've got left in our hand and we need to get all the cards okay what is okay? Show me a card ace. I like that little bit of characterization. Um, oh, the Joker of Diamonds. I think that must be okay. I've got the Four of Diamonds. Oh, it's not going. It's not going my way. Uh, King of Clubs. I don't think I'm gonna beat that. Great, a face card, and it's mine now. <gasps> oh, Ronald's competitive. <laughs> Nine of Diamonds. Okay, what have I got? Ace of Diamonds. Ace! I don't believe it! Oh, this is funny. Uh, show me your card, Ace. Okay. You're tough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll put it back a little bit. Oh. Okay. Six of Hearts. We've got the Three of Diamonds. That's an easy card to beat. You're not wrong. Um, the oh, that's cute, isn't it? Queen of Diamonds. We've got the Ace of Clubs. Ace. I don't believe it. Uh, eight of Clubs. We've got the 
four of spades. Bit of luck next time. Oh, I don't think it's going to go our way. Okay. Two. Oh, two. All right, I win. Okay. Two. Of, we should be able to beat two clubs, right? Yes, ten of clubs. Doggone it. <laughs> Show me your cardings. I like the fact that this is a completely random, you're awfully lucky, a uh, completely random game of chance, um, which is probably not too difficult to program alongside everything else here, but it's a really good opportunity for this, um, this bit of um, dialogue to happen, which is really nice. Okay, ooh, I'll get you next time. Okay. Five, oh, not a very high card, but I'll take it. <laughs> There's an awful lot of sass going on here. Um, show me your card ace. Okay. Eight of hearts. Alright, I win. Show me your card ace. Yeah. Oh, did you see a smile? Oh, yes! Sick but smiling. Ah, well. We're clearly having fun, so that's good. Three of hearts. Mm hmm. Nine of can I beat no I can't. Maybe it's because he's winning. Not that I could lose intentionally, uh, even if I wanted to. Um, Ace takes it. Okay. Uh show me your card, Ace. Okay. I've got the oh the five of spades. No contest, you lose. Ace of spades, I've got, ooh, I've got the queen, so not quite, war, oh, this is some kind of special thing, what happens when you, when we say war, um, we have four more cards, um, turn, he turns over his last card, and then I show my last card, now there's a higher card, wins the hand, and all the cards on the table added to the winner's stack, ooh, okay, it's uh, ups the ante a bit. Oh, I got an ace. Hey, look at that. So, the ace? I don't believe it. Okay. So this is the kind of game that could go on for a long time, isn't it? Phew, that was too close. Oh, nice. So they programmed in different responses depending on the, the margin of the victory, which is, is really cool. Arr! Show me your card, Ace. You're the Ace here, I think. Oh, ace, I don't believe it. You're tough. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he is, yeah, because he's kind of neutral face now, isn't he? Now it's even, evened up. I guess if we play poker, I could probably lose on purpose. <laughs> oh, how charming. Beat you by a mile. <laughs> okay. I want, I, I really want Ronald to win, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's, go it's going more his way. Oh, okay, I did win that one. It's an easy card to beat. All right, slow down. Oh, we're going too fast, sorry. Oh, is it war again? It's war. Okay, so I think this is just another don't think it matters what the the face down cards are once we turned over these two. I don't think it does. Hey, look at that. But I guess it shows me what's in my hand. So I can try and card count? Oh no! Oh no, he's got sad face again. Okay. I promise, Ronald, I'm not oh, I'm not intentionally trying to win this. Okay, oh, that's a low card again. 
I might, oh no, oh no. I don't want to end this with a sad poorly Ronald. That would be, Arr. Okay. Okay, so maybe he's coming round. He doesn't look too upset. Ah, oh, it's another war. A war of aces, wow. Okay, come on. Oh, okay. Yeah, 10. I might not beat a 10. Here we go. Hey, look at that. Yeah. All right, I win. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Oh, yeah, get me next time. Maybe the real, maybe the real secret to this is, because I, this is a game that may never end, is to uh, get to a point where he's winning and then, and then quit out. That might be, that might be the, the, the major strategy here. Good, okay. So let's, let's see if we can get you into a position where you're in a, in front, yeah, you won that one. Well, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to beat the Joker. Okay, evens. Uh, how about this one? Oh no, I won that one. You're tough. Okay, see if we can get you in front. Yeah, uh huh. I'll help. Uh, six of clubs. Oh. Beat your two. Okay. Six of hearts. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to be awfully lucky. It's it's very tricky to to uh, try and deliberately lose a game of chance. Should have quit while Ronald was ahead. Okay, you got a king. Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay. Oh, and you got an ace. I probably can't. Yeah, ace takes it. Okay, this is heading in the right direction. Ace again, fantastic. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's. Yeah, here we go. Gonna crack a smile? Oh, not that time. Uh, now? Yes. Um, yeah, that was too close. Aha! Okay, I'll risk one more. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. So I think... There we go. I should leave you with an elevated mood. Fab. Um, and I'm going to ask you to eat some food. Fantastic! I, I have had I've had a lovely time uh, playing a little bit of little computer people with with everybody. Thank you for joining me. Let's see if Ronald gets gets around to eating some food there. I it's a game of lots of lots of lovely little details like um like his mood changing when he wins uh um like the um the <laughs> the pre-programmed typing mistakes are wonderful i kind of wonder what other little secrets there are to to discover i'm kind of tempted actually to um um not not have this as a as a mainstream game again probably but um Maybe uh, in future when streaming, I might just kind of check in on Ronald um, for a few minutes and, and see how he's doing um, and see what the passage of time does to the game, if anything. Yeah, that's good. He's going to have something to eat. That's a relief. I do, um, for a, uh, 
a, um, a, a creation of a little bit of code and a few a few pixels of display um, I do feel very attached to Ronald um, which is lovely I think which is proves kind of the success of the game really um, yeah it's been lovely thank you very much for joining me, everybody it's been nice to stream again too it's been a it's been a while and I'm glad it probably technically worked um, after a slightly slightly dodgy uh, slightly dodgy start earlier on so thank you very much for joining me uh, and I will say uh, farewell to you um, you can I don't know if I'm going to be streaming very regularly um, but by all means uh, do do follow the channel to um, so, oh, excuse me, I'm going to need to cough. Yes, as I was trying to say. Um, you can uh, follow me on Twitch to know when I'll be streaming again. Um, I think, yeah, I think my connection is going a little bit haywire now. Um, uh, and also you can uh, find me at Catsequences on YouTube uh, to to find uh, more Let's Play videos. Um, I'll put up a, a VOD of, of our stream here as well. And um, yeah, until next time to see you all again, thank you, thank you very much for joining me, brushing his teeth, oh, get distracted by Ronald. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me, I've had a lovely time uh, and I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Um, see you again soon, I hope. Take care. Bye bye.